Box two. Box is back with another video. Hala, why are we set up this way? What are we doing today? Well, Varvar, we wrote unpopular opinions and they're sitting in the pile right here. Now, none of us know what each other wrote, but we're gonna go through one by one, trying to figure out who wrote which one. And Pala, what is the buzzer for? Well, firms, for after we vote for who we think said the unpopular opinion, we're all gonna put our hands in the middle, and whoever it was, it's the buzzer. At the end of each round, we're gonna vote for who said the unpopular opinion. Now, if the guy that actually said it gets away with it, he gets two points. If they vote the person that did say it, everyone else gets one point. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys comment and like and press subscribe. That bell is calling your name. Make sure you click it. Round one. Let's begin. Vamos. It's a long one. The next national team powerhouse will be Norway with Haaland, Odegaard and Nusa leading them to a future championship. That's interesting. Oh my days. I wonder who this is. I really wonder who this is. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with one thing, guys. I don't know who Nusa is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's a baller. He plays for what, Bruges, I think? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm lying. Maybe I'm lying. I'm <laughs> asking the wrong Millie, person, my guy. I'm asking the wrong person, my guy. Musa who? <laughs> Musa from Milan? Whoever wrote this exposed themselves because they knew me and Millie. Actually, they should have known that me and Millie didn't know who Musa is. Mm. Look, are they lying though? I think they're actually lying because if you think it's anybody, if you think it's they me didn't or make Millie, the Euro, it's they, you. They didn't, make, they didn't make the Euros, nor the World no, Cup. They didn't. they didn't even make the World Cup. No. So are they are they doing good now for the Euros? Are they qualifying? I, I don't think know. So. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I, I think, I don't even know, to be honest, so I can't even... But what's the problem is that I think it's Firms, but Varvar is making it a sketch like for Nusa, I, I, Nusa is Firms, like, yeah. that's Firms knowledge. Why, like just because it's knowledge. niche? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Milan's all full of niche players, my man. You yeah. know those niche players. The scouting, man. But I think he's playing some reverse psychology, to be honest. Yeah, okay, for sure. You're the one that's playing reverse psychology. Varvar, who do you think it is? I think it's Firms a thousand percent. Okay. He's playing, oh, I'm, my I'm telling you guys, he rates, does he rate Haaland? Do you guys think he rates Holland? We'll see later. I don't know. I, listen, I said, Does it seem like I'm the type that says Odegaard is going to be leading someone to a World Cup? I mean, you put Holland first. If Varvar actually, because I know Varvar doesn't actually believe this, but he might have wrote this just to, to frame everyone firms. Because this is this is firms written all over. Yeah, but he could have been framing <laughs> firms. Do you That's think when I was contemplating my unpopular opinions, Nusa came to my mind? Yeah, but he he might have came to your mind to frame firms. Yeah, but it could also be Millie playing dumb. No, no I don't did believe some that. Research. No, no Millie, Millie ain't watching Nusa okay, like that. I, I'll guarantee that. So do we, what do we want to do, guys? I say we vote right now. I want to hear Firms' vote first. I don't know, to be honest. Like, I think it's Varvar because he's playing smart. I'm going Firms a thousand percent. Okay, that's crazy. I, I, re I don't know. I don't even know if I want to be wrong. I think it's Firms. Firms, there's, there, there are many questions here. Don't do it. That could be you, and I think this one is you. That's horrible so, ball knowledge. Boys, hands in the middle. Hands in the middle. Who was it? No! That was me. No, I'm mind blown. I cannot that. believe that. That was me, boys. I'm, I'm <laughs> mind blown. Hey, first one. That's how we I started. I was sure it was <laughs> you. <laughs> off camera, when we read them, I said, okay, I already know which one this one is. Who did you think? First? I thought it was Firms a thousand percent. What, no, the Noosa, like, the I'm Noosa like, was a throw You're off. not even trying to hide it. I was like. Fellas, fellas, the bar has been set today so round two millie used his ace of spades out of his deck too early you used it too early millie you shouldn't do that I cannot believe it was the first question what could i do unpopular opinion if mbappe wins a champions league with psg he's a top 10 almost five player of all time brother all time i mean not crazy to say i agree is it that crazy to say not crazy to say are you guys nuts is it that crazy to say though he has a world cup already if he won that world cup with france again i think are you guys in that he'd already be top 10 if he won that world guys scored a hat trick in a world cup right, final. But are top you five nuts? top five is like messi maradona ronaldo like I, like what, what is he fifth he's what 25 now he's yeah 25 26 Top, no, this this wrote top 10, almost five. So almost. You, he's giving like leeway. He's minimum, okay. minimum like top He's 10. talking about like the, the Ronaldinho, oh. Zidane levels. That's crazy. It's not Who crazy said, to say, It though. is crazy to say. No, I don't think that's that crazy. Hey, you're basing this it off guy, one. This guy is acting too baffled, Bro, in my me, opinion. Vote me, vote me. I want to figure out who this person is. <laughs> Bro, top 10, almost top fives means, what, seven? But is Eight? that, is this, I agree. Okay, but, but let me just talk my talk. Because regardless if you think it's me or not, 
Bro, that puts him in Zidane in... Well, there's Pele he has Maradona, a World Cup, a Champions League with Messi. Paris. If he His wins the Champions League team. in Paris, yeah. Hometown team, oh, Champions if he wins it. Yeah. yeah. He's a legend for sure, like... Yeah, guaranteed. But winning yeah. trophies... Look, for me, it's, enough, for me, this is not even an unpopular, like this, oh my God, this is not even an unpopular opinion. So for you to freak out that much. No, that's a ridiculous, that's a ridiculous no? opinion. Ridiculous. Who, who had PSG as Champions League winners though? Me. Okay. <laughs> but like, okay, maybe someone's trying to frame me like Millie. Frame, all, all of a sudden framing's coming in. I can't mind trust here. you anymore. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Boys, okay. I played my game, but now it's, it's fair game now. Let's go through it. There's Ronaldo, Messi, Maradona, Pele. And then you're starting to get into Zidane, Ronaldinho, Neymar, like... Neymar? Neymar is definitely Neymar top 10. Neymar does not touch this top 10. He's definitely top no. 10. I don't know about that. Who else is, who else is up there? Iniesta, Xavi? So yes. many. But that's a bit further down the list. Then you're looking at defenders, Beckenbauer, Maldini. Maldini. Yeah, like those are, but those that, could we be already top named 10. 11. So Mbappe is better than some of those that we mentioned, according to this person. But on what basis? If he wins the Champions yeah. League, if he carries... this, I'm guessing he's saying this. If he carries PSG to a hometown championship, that means a lot in his in this person's mind I, I don't it just feels ridiculous to come off the mouth saying that mm. but it's firms I'm, 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 i also i also had a feeling because i know i know that. he's he's a mbappe enjoyer i don't know for me who palace, isn't palace suspicion at the start was like it, it got too crazy you know it was like he was, he was baffled as if he mm. never saw the question yeah like i don't think it's look this is like i don't know if he is but this is not crazy but this, what, what do you think about it bummer yeah, I, I don't think know he's around opinion. there. I'm not. I'm not saying he's gonna be definitely top ten, but he would be in and around like 13, 14, okay. maybe just outside those that we named. But in, in what echelon of player? What do you mean, what echelon of player? <clears throat> like, who would you compare him to, legacy wise? Like, uh, I, like he would be Suarez. higher than Thierry Henry. First of all, that's crazy right now. But if you're putting him above Henry, is he below Suarez? If he wins a Champions League with PSG, I think he's above Suarez already. Yeah. He do be 26 years old. So who are you? Who are you guys voting? Honestly, now I'm uh, I'm a bit because a lot of debating, but we yeah. haven't debated on who could it be. Okay, I'm gonna finalize my vote. I'm saying firms. I'm also gonna say firms. That's you guys crazy. didn't. You guys didn't learn your lesson. You guys are gonna throw him under the bus again. It just I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm throwing him under the bus. I now. I'm voting Pala. Voting Pala. Yeah. I think I might vote Varvar here. So it's we have firms. Yeah, firm. It's firm. Two L's in a row, man. Two, two votes for Millie, firm. Millie, keep the, keep the hand down. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew it. You're trying to tell me that Mbappe is not going to be almost a top five player of there all time is. if he, he comes wins the out. Champions League? <laughs> this top five is crazy. No, it's not that crazy. It's insane. He's better than Ronaldinho. He's going to be better than Iniesta, better than Xavi. I do not think it's crazy. He's honestly one of the best players I've ever watched in my life. He was your Champions League MVP too. Yeah, that's, player of the but tournament. But that's why. That's why. PSG winners. Yeah, that's why. PSG winners see, and Mbappe. I made it so MVP. obvious that exactly. they didn't vote for me. No, good play. After two rounds, we were fooled by Millie and by Varvar. Let's see what happens in this round. Boys, you are going to like this question. The best managers in the world right now are Italian. Now, this is the biggest load of cap. I've Look, I'm wearing mm. the Italy jersey. But this is the biggest load of cap I've heard in my life. Why do you say that? Because, look, there's a couple of decent managers. There's De Zerbi, there's Ancelotti, but like... Who outside of that? Allegri? Like, I'm supposed to rate Allegri? Like, no. he's the, one of the best managers of the world? First Paletti. Of all, first of all, Calma. Yeah. Paletti. Yeah. This guy is so irrelevant, he went to national football. Like, it's international football. But now that I'm thinking about it, okay, think about it. Name a better country. Sp Spain is close just because Spain, you have the only Luis Arteta 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 and Luis Arteta. Enrique. Xavi, Arteta. Yeah. Xavi, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is kind of crazy. Adding up. Okay. Spanish, yeah. It's adding up, huh? Me? It's adding up too much. <laughs> okay, German. Klopp, Klopp, Flick. Flick. I don't count Tuchel. any. Tuchel. Tuchel. Uh, they, they've had good German managers in the past, but, but I wouldn't put them up there. Spain definitely. I think Italy is definitely first, like historically wise. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, but this is, what does this say right now? Like right, right now. Right now. Right okay. now. You have 
two managers in basically the UEFA's best managers list. You have Spalletti and Inzaghi. Okay, the that's final. a weird Inzaghi? bit of information. To oh, How do you know? That's oh, Inzaghi. Inzaghi. That's, that's a you weird, guys didn't even mention Simone Inzaghi. That's a weird Inzaghi. bit of information to know, no? <laughs> Listen, I'm just repping. I'm just protecting my boy right here. Okay. Yeah. Inzaghi, Inzaghi is a fantastic Pioli. This guy you pulled go, out the stats. Uh, bro pulled out Pioli and the whole list just went to shambles. <laughs> whole list burnt on fire. <laughs> I'm between Firms and Millie here. I'm I got my I, I, I know I have prop. I know I have Italian prop sometimes. I know Varvar mm. would not would not talk about this. Who are you voting for? Pala. Pala? It's not yeah. me. Oh, that cooks you. Because now if one of you vote me, then, you need, then it's New Jersey. Because you're wearing a Juve kit too. <laughs> Who are you voting for? Allegri. Do we even mention Allegri on this list? Allegri's up there. No. Yeah. Come on. That's all I needed Simeone, to hear. Simeone. Yeah, it's Pala. That's all I needed it's to hear. It's That's Pala. all I needed to hear. It ain't me. It ain't me. <laughs> so. I want to hear what you guys vote, and then I'm gonna try to sway the other person to go to go my way. Also, I don't know who it is, but who would you say? No, actually, I'm gonna switch my vote. Mm. I'm gonna go for firms. <laughs> Again, <laughs> we're gonna go for firms. How round. is it that I look so guilty to you guys? No, I don't think I don't. I don't think it's you. I honestly think it's Paolo. I think it's Millie now. <laughs> I think it's Paolo. But you know, he changed his vote to firms. Yeah, it's fine. I'm I'm going with Millie now. Really? But that's. Interesting what he just did. Millie has a degree in, I won't tell you what, but he has a degree in something <laughs> that you can convince me about. A lot of debating here and mm. there. <laughs> he knows how to switch sides. I don't know. I don't know. I feel I feel it's too obvious for firms. And I don't think, I don't think Varvar, I'm back to back. In, I'm if it's back it to in. back, Varvar. I'm locking it in. It's Millie. Go for it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it's torn. Paolo. I'm torn. I'm gonna say it's Paolo. I'm locking it just in. For the, it's just Paolo. for the vibes. It's Paolo. No, I'm no you already locked it in, though. You locked it on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My guts say it's Millie, but Paolo is like. Okay, so you wanna go the majority. I'm voting for Firms. I'm oh voting boy. for Firms. He definitely wants He definitely wants the vote to go up. I've elsewhere. been saying Millie. I don't Ooh, know who missing? I'm voting for. Oh yet. boy. I'm confused. Le boys. Now. I'm confused. Bro, it's visiting me for. <laughs> yeah. No, it's you. No, it's you. Yeah, I'm voting for Firms. I'm voting Firms. for Pala. I'm sticking I'm to I'm sticking gut. to Pala now. To, oh boy. He just admitted that he wants to join the majority. I know. I'm but I think Pala. I already said Pala for it. Like my gut, my gut tells me Pala. It's That's Pala. Why. It's not me. He's trying to not make it obvious. It's not me. It ain't, it ain't me. It ain't me. Okay, let's Boys. see you guys lose some points. Well, Ready? actually I lose points too, but. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh no! Firms. I told you. It was I too told you. Obvious. It was no. too obvious. No. Firms. Give the Zerbi that Man City team, and he'll become the best manager in the world. Firms, like you stabbed me in the heart. This is ridiculous. Was it not so obvious? This, he literally said, "I want to go with the majority." Mala, Meaning, I apologize. <laughs> vote means nothing. <laughs> I apologize. That's I apologize. All right. Let's see what's next. Pep would be unsuccessful at managing an international team. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that mumbo jumbo? Look, mumbo. um, I already have my vote. This screams someone. It screams, screams someone. Of who? I think you're thinking Varvar. I think I'm looking at the other side of the table, to Why? be honest, because I, I think we both respect Pep Guardiola ball too much. I agree. We both respect Pep Guardiola ball too much to disrespect him with national football. Where a guy like, the, who's that old Portuguese coach that won a Euro? That guy won a Euro. Santos. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're telling me mm. Pep Guardiola can be successful with a national Bobart, team. To be fair, Pep seems like the type of guy that needs a club for a long time. Yeah, to, I, I'm not completely opposed to this. Like whoever, I don't I'm think this is that unpopular. Opposed. I don't really. think this is that unpopular. Completely opposed. I think it's like ridiculous to say that the greatest coach of all time would struggle I mean, with a national team. Pep himself said that if he's not funded with the money, he he's not a good coach. Okay, but Didn't all the other that? teams don't have. If he gets the English national team, he would win a World Cup. He's yeah, that's true. Even Spain, I think he would do something. Yeah, but he wouldn't be able to like bring in players that he needs. He has to create those players. You know, I mean, trust me, scouting. bro. He yeah. creates, bro. No, there's no scouting. It's the players that you have at your disposal. No, yeah, but, but he calls up. He calls up the players that fits more. There's system. also like, let's say you're at a national job for eight years. You're the one that's setting up the youth development to create players that fit your mold of player. But it's com like it's a complete different ball game from but, but, club. Robert, the, the, like those players are also trying to be developed by their clubs to be certain type of roles. Yes. Like Pep, I feel like Pep needs, he needs club football. Exactly. Like some backing of, of that kind. I, I think you might agree with that too. 
I don't know why I you're. I don't think so. I don't know why you're so heavily disagreeing with. Also, him. I also think it's too slow for him. It's too slow. The international. That's a international good point. International breaks. Yeah. It's World a good Cups point. are only like World Cup and Euros two years apart. And he has like such philosophies that take time to implement. That, like, imagine two weeks. What are you gonna do with your team? Exactly. But he's he's also such a good tactician that I feel like yeah. regardless of not having the players in a lot of time, I think he would still probably. We still do better than most managers. Yeah. And most of those players, they're going to be working towards fitting Pep's system. Like, he doesn't mm. even need to coach them. They know what type of players he wants, well, and they're going to work like towards that. Allegri, Juventus. Yeah. Allegri is trying to take a page out of Pep Guardiola's book this year. With, Excuse with me? Having a, high, having a high line, high playing team, pressing. What so, pressing, bro? You have not watched Juventus this year. Like, just Please. be honest. Just be honest. Please. You have not watched Juventus this Please. year. Please. We Remind press. me, we you press. guys are an attacking team? This season we are. You, have you watched our game? They are more of an attacking like, team. Yeah. More. Yeah. No, no, no. We're an attacking he team. He took a year. page out of Pep's yeah, book. Yeah, I wouldn't it's say that. He has. He has. Say. He has, but watch it. I mean, That's insane. It was only one page, say. though. It was only one page. <laughs> yeah, no, he didn't take the book. He only took a page. Yeah. <laughs> who was it? There was Danilo who said um, Allegri is trying to implement some Pep tactics. Yeah, if you watch That's the crazy. Page, you're going to see it's, it's like many. It's like many. It's really many. Really, really many. But it's Pep Guardiola. I got my vote just from that. Just from that. <laughs> no, that I don't think it's anything? Pala. I don't I, think it's Anyway, Pala. vote for me again, you'll be wrong again. No, no, it's not Pala. I, I don't know. I, I don't know this Pala. one, to be honest. I think it's Varvar. I think it's Pala. I see, I see Varvar after we, click, after we click the button going, bro, obvious, uh, obviously, Pep not going to be a good national. Ten Hag is at it's definitely that United. side of the table. It's us two. I'm telling you 100%, bro. Who tells you Pep is the best manager of all time? Me. Me. Mm. I think we all said it. Yeah, we all said it. I haven't heard from you. What do you mean? I told you. You like Mourinho. Yeah, you are a Mourinho type of guy. Brother, he brought me in And trouble. he's been pretty silent. Billy, let me, uh, let me put you on the, the spot. Blame. Yeah, yeah. Who's the best manager of all time? Would Pep have won Pep's with that Inter team? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Inter this this year's this interest. guy's selling his soul just to play. <laughs> <laughs> just, just She's under the table say. like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't look at my toes. Don't look at my toes. <laughs> I got my vote. Yeah. It's it's Millie. He would never have said that if he had if he was actually saying his but, actual opinion. He would never have said. But that. it's too obvious. I wouldn't say Millie. Mourinho's better. No, but no. you would never have said that Pep would win that CL with Inter. Depends how. <laughs> Depends how well Inter played that the week before. That would have never left your mouth, Millie. So I, I don't got even my think vote. I would have thought it. <laughs> Let me read it. I want to read the text. I know how these guys text. This isn't me, bro. It would be. It would have been in two different texts. <laughs> Yours would have been in um, in Super Mario 64. Really? <laughs> Comic Sans. <laughs> <laughs> With a would gradient. Be successful in managing an international team. Mm, there's some poli sci underlining there. I don't. I didn't write this. <laughs> would be. I didn't, um, I didn't write this. I didn't write this. <laughs> There's a teacher's <laughs> assistant right yeah. in there a little Does bit. Does TA hit? No. I'm, I am voting I'm for Millie. Pala might have played us a fiddle. No, it's not Pala. Three, two, one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> brothers, I'm telling you it's not me. I'm like, I'm telling you. What? It's, it's you, certainly from that side of the table. You think this. I said my points. I, I think there's a good argument for that, yeah. You actually, he argued his point and we didn't even think about it. Why? I, I did the Varvar way. Why? Why? I think it's, like, it's not a crazy shout. It, that's an insane it's, shout. It's, it's crazy, but for firms, now that I know it's him, it makes sense. Into the next round. These are getting spicy. Let's see. Most of Manchester City's players are overrated and Pep tax is very real. We just spoke about Pep Guardiola. Mm. So let's make this short and swift. Short, short and swift. So it's not firms. He would not write two or would he? But no, he wouldn't write two about the same. Maybe that's a reverse about psychology, Pep. but I kind of agree with like, you. Why would you write I do two agree, about I do agree with you. I let, agree. let me get a quick look at that question real quick. Let me get it. Well, you wrote it. You don't need to look at it. Yeah, exactly. Because I remembered everything. <laughs> so Manchester City players are overrated. Most, I think it, I don't know if most was it written Manchester, all of them most or of most? Manchester City this, most of Manchester City's players are overrated. This is the key here. And Pep tax is very real. This is the key here. I can Who says Pep tax? Who brings up tax in this situation? All, kind of all of us. Yeah, but you know, Varvar likes to bring up the yeah. taxes. He's the tax man over here. Yeah, I'm the tax, tax lawyer. Shipping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so quickly. Is it wrong though? Um, that's what I'm going to tonight. 
quickly, just you agree or disagree with this? Like some players are a bit overrated just because it's Man City, but not most players. Okay. I, that's crazy. I agree with it, but I don't like overrated what? Like, I don't understand like how overrated are we talking? Like, are they bad players? No. <laughs> Okay, I already have my vote. We'll just... uh, okay. <laughs> so overrated how? He was thinking in his head, he's like, he's like, these guys are gonna figure out I'm lying. Okay. okay overrated how? I, like, I, does he mean they're terrible or like? Like not world class. Like Haaland, like I do think he's overrated. I think every player on that team is but, overrated. But you I'm think not every gonna, player is overrated? I think every player has like a little bit of a shield protecting them, which is the pep system. I, I agree with a that. Little bit I don't think a player joins Man City and gets underrated. But over. City players are overrated. It's insane to say, because like that's insane. Most Manchester, most Manchester but City is players it are overrated. crazy to say, like are like, overrated. Okay, but. because there's players like Akanji who were like at Dortmund, he was okay, and now he's talked about as one of the best center backs in the Premier League and stuff like that. I don't think that. Okay, but he's true. one. I I agree with this. I actually do really agree with this. Just to the extent of how overrated, I don't know, but I do agree with it. I, I, I do think when they they enter the club there's this kind of aura that they get where it's just like they play for city and they play under pep they're these top top players even if they're not good they could maybe play for a mid-level premier league club but as soon as they go to city it's like they're worth that there's there's exceptions to the rule like kdb i don't think is overrated no. and i don't think rodri's overrated those are Foden. like Foden, Foden's not I overrated. underrated yeah. i believe now he's underrated how can That's you be underrated in a system that everybody's overrated because he's because the system is holding him back what about joao Cancelo? I, I think he's Slightly overrated. Slightly overrated. I'd he's say. overrated, especially by Barca fans now because he had like one or two good games. Here's my thing. Pala, you're an Arsenal fan. You're obviously going to think that they're overrated. Well, I don't really care about Man City, to be honest. I think even a United yeah, fan should. Really care. You should, no brother. one, no you one should. cares about Man City enough to talk about them. But, but does Varva care enough? Man United? Both, apparently both Man don't United care. and Arsenal. Apparently both don't care about talking about it. I mean... They're our little brother. He's a little boy to me, so I don't... It's like, whatever. A little boy. Bro, just called Pep. Little, Trouble winner. Little boy to me. Little boy to You're me. a little boy to me. I have my vote. I have my vote also. I know who you were voting for. You. And I'm voting for you. Okay, so... I'm locking it in. Whatever. It's the tax. Who's saying tax? We're about to go 0 for... F 0 for what now? 5? Damn! Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it's not Barbar. Mm. It's just, we know each other too well. For those watching, we know each other too well that when we say something genuine, it's just like, oh, you ruined it. Like, now so I know well. it's not you. That was a really genuine, now oh, we're going to be 0-5 now. Like, he's yeah. actually not, he's actually not happy that You're like showing that. your hand. I think it's you now. <laughs> but how did, that makes no sense. Like, that, like, logic that makes, wise, that, makes no that sense. literally makes no sense. I'm switching my answer to Pala. Bro, you're so, <laughs> bro, you're actually so lost. So who has Pala right now? Both of you? I'm Pala now. Well, you're about to go for, like, you're actually yeah. about to go for five. Well, That's you know very what? Very genuine. You know what? <laughs> Majority rules, Pala. Okay, you're 0 for We're five. We're going to go for Pala. You're 0 for five. Oh, no. Three, two, one. Are you going to go or? It's not me. There you oh. go. You guys are clones. Clones. <laughs> <laughs> when Firm switched Bro, to Pala, I knew it was over. After five rounds, we have yet to find an imposter. Let's see if we can do with this one. Super League is a negative. Bad grammar. Super League is a negative to the sport and is not the future of football. I wonder who it is. <laughs> you guys. Super, <laughs> show me the question again. <laughs> Let me, did I write that? Super League is a negative to the sport and is not the future it's of a negative football. what it might be an unpopular opinion in this room but i don't think that's a negative that's an unpopular opinion i know who it is i'm i just i think super league is 100 percent a good idea I don't well think yeah that's why I, no i think the idea of super league is a good idea yeah the execution they, wasn't good yeah the, um, the idea, if this guy's talking about the no promotion and no uh, relegation then i don't agree with it hmm. but if it has promotion relegation there's no reason not to have a super league in my personal opinion that i, I just with. want you event I've been a UA fan forever. He's been a United fan forever. This is before I liked Arsenal. Our teams have not played each other since, what, since we were kids, like literally. I, I've partners. never watched UA play Man United. That doesn't make sense. All these years of de debating on, oh, your team sucks, oh, your team sucks. We've never been able to watch it. it makes no sense. Uh, Man United have never played Inter. We have, but very, very Not long when time I ago. remember. Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. And, time ago. and we uh, played in Europa Millie League. was only, uh, Millie, Firms was only in Europa League. So like, what, what not at the, not at the biggest stage. Yeah. No. And Super League is supposed to be that exactly. stage. 
So, I I think I think you guys know how big I a fan I am of Super League. So you guys know it's not me. Super League, especially when it happened. I remember when we were all like on Twitter looking at the, all the updates about it. It was like crazy times. Oh man, the updates are like Super League needed. Super League needed. That was the best night in Twitter history. Mm -hmm. All yeah. the best. That's yeah. so funny. That and for some reason when <laughs> when the the World War Three memes <laughs> started, that was also the best night. But on Super Twitter. Super League, the memes that came out of that, but. The consensus of, amongst Inter fans was always like Super League is needed. Mm. Would you be involved in Super League? <laughs> I don't know. Will you? <laughs> anyway, my vote stands. I think it's Millie. I think it's Millie too. I think this might be one for six boys. I'm going with Millie also. Millie, who are you voting for? Firms. <laughs> he, didn't <even laughs> he didn't even mention who he was voting for. <laughs> please, <laughs> please. Okay, Our first one. Okay, on. three, two, one. Huh. Yeah. Oh, it is me, That's boys. Good. It is me. Well done. <laughs> boys, you snuffed me out. I wrote that Super League opinion. However, let's go on to the next round. That was too obvious, Millie. You made it too easy. Haaland is overrated regardless of how many goals he scores. Ooh. I know this is. Wonder who said that. I agree with this, though. But I do agree me, with this. But I do agree with this. Oh, brother. You Here think he's over, like if he scores 50 goals, you still think he's overrated? Yes, because then Why? you could turn on the TV and watch Kylian Mbappe and know that guy is a better player. Who said the uh, pep, the pep tax one? Overrated pep Me. tax one. Oh, brother. So would he go two for two? He, mm. he did, he did. If people go way back, he did say Nunez over Holland. I did. Last season. Wait, I, okay, well, <laughs> for, wait, just to bring that up. up. Just to bring that Thank up. you for bringing that up. He did mention an injury though. Right? Yeah, I said Haaland, my, my, my thing with Haaland was that in the Bundesliga, he always got injured. Well, not always, but he would get recurring injuries. He didn't get that at City so far. But I, I think Haaland is a world-class player, best striker in the world by far. Okay. If but he scores, like Firm said though, if he I'm scores overrated. 50 goals, is he still overrated? I'd rather 30 goals by Kylian Mbappe than 50 goals by Haaland. But what? But, but that, <laughs> there's, because, there's, there's, there's no consistency there. Because, because Kylian Mbappe offers way more outside of but just does goal he? scoring. Yes, he does. Yeah, well, yeah. But if he says, if Mbappe scores 50 goals, they say he's the greatest of all time. Whereas Haaland says, uh, scores 50 goals and let's say wins another treble, and they say he's one of the greatest of all time. Which one's a, a bigger shout? Which one's one you're going to get ripped for? No, Haaland is one of the greatest of all time. What, no. Brother, how do right you say now? he's what? overrated and then say he, he's one of the greatest because of all time? he's not the best player in the world. Who is it? But that, I don't think Kylian that was... Mbappe is the best player in the world. Brother, it's like one A and one B. Yeah. No, it's not. You it's see? Yes. who's in between them. That's why he's overrated. Because Mbappe is a level, minimum, one level above how. He he just, his best ability just happens to score him goals. Okay. A, uh, AWB. Uh, Juan Bisaka. Juan Bisaka. Juan Bisaka just happens to be an elite tackler. But we still call him horrible at the sport. But... Mm -hmm. If his resounding quality would score him goals, okay. exactly, then it's he just, would. Then he, exactly. Then, then, but we're not. You know, just because Haaland scores goals because of his good qualities, I agree. Goals are goals. I, is this I an agree disagree? Vote. This yeah, should be I an agree disagree. Vote. It's Paolo. <laughs> <laughs> one for eight. I oh, know one for seven. I'm honestly. I think this is Varvar. I think Var it's Varvar. Varvar. I'm the reason why I will say you is because when I mentioned regardless of how many goals you scored, you you jumped to defend it right away. Okay. You go jumped ahead. to defend right go away. Ahead, go, ahead. <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. But I'm telling you, we should start adding points for getting voting right because I should have gotten a point here. That's demonic. That's, that's demonic. <laughs> Who are you saying, Barbara? Pala. And just watch. I'm going to be right. I, I, I'm, I'm rest assured this is going to be two for six now that it's Barbara. Okay. I'm going for Pala. Boys. Uh, sorry, Barbar. <laughs> oh, your gut. Your gut's telling you something. Yeah, my, my head was saying something else. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go, bro. Put your hand up, bro. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Then why did you defend it so, like, like Because so he's hard? overrated. Thanks. Okay, but you, you laid him up. <laughs> oh, God. My hands are sweaty. I've got clammy hands. <laughs> he's been lying. He's getting nervous. He's getting nervous. <laughs> so, moving on now. Oh, I can't even pick it up. Italy did not deserve to win the Euro 2020. <laughs> I, I'm gonna personally 
see you outside after I, this. I I agree with this. I I no, I don't you agree with. You I don't? agree with firms. I'm gonna personally see you outside. Okay. Because we were by far the best team in the tournament. If I don't agree with it, you don't agree with it. He doesn't agree with it. He would never, brother. I cried when they won. You I cried. Know. I cried. Yeah, we were we were together. Yeah, I know, but together. I remember him crying. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember him crying. Why? Maybe nah, you were maybe I cried. maybe Not you were joking. crying because you're like, oh my god, I can't believe we won. We didn't deserve to win. You were crying because you had to watch that Chad play no. for 90 minutes. <laughs> it was after after the Spain game. You like yeah. that feeling you was there. Like we're gonna you win. You had to watch at 90 minutes of Cheeto Immobile. That's why you were crying. <laughs> Everyone was. Crying. How did we win that though? Like. Like, I don't think, no. I think. Wait, what do you mean, how do we win? No, look, if you look at the just the squad, I agree, how do yeah. we win that? But if you watch the games, a masterclass. we were the best team of the tournament. I, I, I think so, 100%. Before the tournament, I don't know, I know me and him spoke about this recently. You might have been in the conversation. I don't know who was in it, but I know me and Varver for sure. We kind of knew going into the tournament, we had, a, we had a group chat going, we had a Portuguese guy, a couple of other guys, and we're like, Bro, Italy is winning this tournament. It's true. Even though no one believed us, like Italy was a joke. We said, for some reason, it actually like culminated into belief, mm -hmm. like we will win it. Yeah, but at first it wasn't full belief, but. It's more just like you believe, but you're hoping they don't, they don't lose. Yeah. And every game you go into like biting your nails, you're, yeah. you're freaking out. I, I got my vote though. But I got who, my vote. You're I telling me. I actually don't got my vote. <laughs> I, I, got just my said vote. I got my vote. Italy did not deserve to win your ultimate tournament. That I wholeheartedly disagree with. Yeah, me stuff. too. I got my it's vote. It's not me. I don't have my vote. What did you? We all agree with. We all. Two we in all, a row, Pala. <laughs> huh? Two in a row. What's two in a row? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hands in the middle. We're all voting Pala. You're all voting Pala? No, yeah. no. What? No, 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 no. How did this turn into I'm, me? I'm voting for you. <laughs> How did the, this turn into me? The only one who likes Kane, who rates Maguire, oh. Luke Shaw. I don't know. To me, it's kind of. This might be Firms now, just for the fact that he's voting for me. This no, might be Firm, Firms is Italian. Like, it, it, I think this would be like he doesn't. Bro, the guy doesn't even wear other country, other nationalities. Yeah. I'm wearing a Roma kit right now. Milly, what do you Millie, think? Millie, what do you? I don't know. I'm dead Millie, set on Millie's, him. Millie's not in this conversation for some reason. Because why would I ever say that? I, I don't know. I don't believe that Millie. I don't know why that. anybody would say this. Never say that. But you also said that Norway was a powerhouse. <laughs> so with who's the player? Nuru. Uh, Nusa. 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 <laughs> Nuru. <laughs> <laughs> Those who know will know. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, I have my vote. I got power. Let's say it. Let's say it out loud, like when we put our hands down and it's locked in. What are we saying? And on three, we say we say our votes out loud. Okay. One, two, three. Power. power. Okay, Pala, congrats, bro. Again, he ran it back on you guys. That's okay, it. let's go. Three. Bro, what if you're wrong? What are you gonna get? Oh boy, I, my house. Three, two, one. Oh no. No, no, I no, told no. You guys. <laughs> two in I a row, and I called guys. him out on it too. I remember. I said two in a row. Huh? <laughs> Into this round, let's see what we got. And I'm already not liking it. Barcelona have a real shot at winning a treble this season. So we can rule myself out. Because, yeah. Uh, huh? We can rule myself out. Because uh, Trouble's ridiculous. Barca hater 101 here is not saying this. I guarantee you this. Okay. We'll put I you aside for now. Kind of agree with that. But what, what competitions are these guys winning to win this treble? Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be the person that it is. La Liga? I, I, come on, okay, they're, they're gonna win okay. the like, La Liga. I, I have they, verbally said Atletico Madrid are better than Barcelona and Real Madrid are better mm, than Barcelona. Okay. This cannot be me. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm not, that's nobody's saying, it's, no, right yeah. nobody's it's, saying it's you. Hey, you're defending no one right now. <laughs> <laughs> defending air. He's, he's jousting. <laughs> he's running away. <laughs> okay, so La Liga. La Liga, I think they have a very good shot at winning that. Copa del Rey? Yes. And Champions League. Or Europa League. Oh Who had Barca goodness. as their Champions League favorites? Okay, no now, one. No, that that looks bad. I agree. It looks <laughs> no, bad. Yeah, Hear me no. out. Champions League favorites. He had Man City, but he had Barcelona as the dark no, horses. No, dark horses. Yeah. Okay. But for, I do think they have a crazy a Barca team. advocate. You were talking yesterday but, to our friend at a cafe. Oh You were no. talking to him about Barcelona. I am a Barcelona enjoyer, but enthusiast, enthusiast, aficionado, even aficionado. <laughs> some would say, but. Like Champions League. But it would be too obvious. Do you legitimately believe that they have a shot to win Champions League? Like, if you think of the four or five teams that could I, actually I have them win as my dark horse. So, yeah, I think if they you get a they could good, be one of the five teams. I yes. 
I don't know who it is. They're they're up there. What are you looking at me for? I don't know. You're creating conversation. <laughs> Barcelona realistically have absolutely zero shot at winning a treble. They they might not even walk out with one trophy this year. Forget three. No, I don't think they have no shot. Like who has a better shot of winning a, a title this year, Liverpool or Barcelona? Barcelona. One trophy. Barcelona. I title. A, a, a trophy of value. Well, La Liga. Liverpool are in Europa League, huh? Yeah, but so, they're also in yeah. Carabao Cup. Carabao Cup, FA Cup. They have they have more of a shot of Copa winning a title. Copa del Rey. Barcelona could win that. But they have Atleti. They have... Uh, I don't... Real Madrid. Like, Atleti are going to be good this year. It, it's a, it's between Atleti, and Real Madrid, and Barcelona. Yes, but Barcelona is like levels ahead right now, I think. I disagree completely. I disagree. But th th I don't think it's you, Firms, because you're making it too obvious. <laughs> I think saying a treble is like just ridiculous. Like them winning a Champions League That's is ridiculous. That's what someone who thinks they could win a listen, treble would say. Listen... <laughs> I'll reserve my opinion. Millie, what do you think about it? There's like, what do you no think about way. what do you think about them winning a treble? There's no way they win a treble. They're way too inconsistent to win a treble. I agree, but you, I don't agree. You did with say that. that they would that Inter would beat them. That's that's the only reason. I have my vote. I'm locking in Pala. <laughs> locking okay. in. Okay. So locked in I right just, now. I really don't want the round to end. Varvar does, eh, and then he goes, bro. I know I'm a Madridista, but bro, they have a crazy team. No, 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 no. They, I have them as my flop of the Champions League. How would that happen? You have Barcelona as your flop of the Champions League? Yes. That's crazy. No. That's actually crazy. Okay, <laughs> I think it's Marmar. <laughs> yeah. You see this? No. He's trying to direct it to me. Millie, what do you think? It's. I'm telling you, it's not me, Millie. Don't be swayed. Palace three in a row. Don't Palace. be gullible. No, I'm going Millie. Three in a okay, row. you didn't play what I wanted to do. I know, but like... You're you gullible. My game. No, no, I wanted, oh, I wanted oh, to see oh, your calm reaction. It down. I wanted to see your reaction. I and would never say this. I would never, ever, ever say this. Okay. Barca Who fans wanted to I'll, fly I'll to Canada them. to kill me. Yeah, I'll, I'll go them. with you. Again. I put three in a row. So I did some deliberation off of camera. And uh, although I feel like they're going to vote for me, I'm voting for Millie. It's on the record. And I think Pala right now is trying to sway one of us into voting for Millie to get the Marvar. Yeah. Your head is harder than this buzzer. It's not yeah. changing. Let's see who touches the buzzer. Buzzer. Logistically, I am not considering firms. Yeah, because I don't know. I I don't think it's too obvious if it's firms. I feel like too many of his cards have came out. Three, two, one. <laughs> there it is. Come on. There it is. Why? That's like me saying. Manchester United are going to win the Premier League this year. That would be the most obvious card in the entire deck. Uh, I'm surprised you guys didn't get it. You I'm stayed quiet you didn't get it either. You're very quiet. I, I picked up my points. I, I would, personally, I was just ruling them out. Because it was too cards. obvious. You yeah. guys don't think there's even a chance for a treble? No, not even close. That's, chance? That's delusion. I mean, there's a chance of me winning the lottery too. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Will I win the lottery? No, I'm not. We might have to go try it. Let's go there play we. after this. Okay. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Glensky. On to the next round. Let's see what this is. Ange, I'm assuming Postacoglu, is being severely overrated for what he is doing right now, and Spurs will still finish outside of Europa League. That is a heavy shout. This is so, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna spearhead the conversation. Where did we rank them in in uh, in the Premier League predictions? I think we all had them in Europa. Yeah. Uh, in, in Conference League slash out of Europa. Uh, slash out of Conference League. Who was saying that Ange was a good man? Like in that video. Very good manager. Like I, I said he was I've a good manager because at Celtic, this guy's de a demon. And he buys a lot of Canadian players. Japanese mm. and Canadian players. Yep. I watched a whole doc mini documentary on Ange Postacoglu and then I came to the boys chanting about how good this guy was. And I got a lot of good, good answers from these two. Hmm. So that just leaves one man out. You think I have an opinion on this guy? I really, <laughs> but I didn't know you know who some Norwegian ballers were. Yeah, we can just look at his research. Millie's underrated ball knowledge it's, is coming out. This guy went on Reddit or like Quora and just started like unpopular <laughs> yeah, ball <there> opinions. <laughs> no, Ange is a great manager, I find. But would you say he's underrated? I, I don't think he's underrated. I think everyone came in more thinking that he was going to make Tottenham, like he was going to keep the balance at Tottenham. I, yeah. I think a lot of people are talking about them in CL spots now, which I think like, is crazy. That, that I find is a little... Excellent. I think Brighton have more of a chance at CL than 
what you're reading it you don't think so I'm he's investigating reading? no no, no. <laughs> he's I, analyzing. Did, I didn't read it the first time <laughs> what makes what would make him overrated though that's what I'm trying to figure out because for me everyone came in knowing that he's Celtic manager some people were saying he was way over his head. He won manager of the month the first month, no? Yeah. In, uh, in the Premier League? Yeah. One thing I will say about defending him, this is before I watched this little documentary about him, is he needs severe backing. Mm. That's one thing he does need. And Spurs, historically, have not backed their coaches heavily. Conte didn't get backing. Uh, mm, that's, I don't know. Conte they didn't get heavy backing. Yeah. Conte heavy. is like Ange in a way. They need, they need they their do. player roles. Well, I don't know. I didn't watch well, Celtic, but I know that uh, Alistair Johnston, Canadian national CF Montreal player. Come on uh, the podcast. Um, he also brought a bunch of Japanese players from his old Japanese club or league to Celtic. Yeah. Which is now there's a bunch of Japanese players in Celtic. And even just picking up people like Madison, who's balling out. Like, yeah, he's a very good manager, work. very yeah. good manager. But I don't know. I, I kind of agree is a bit overrated right now because people are talking about him. Like there's, comp I saw comparisons of him and Arteta. Okay. Like, yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, yeah, like, no, that's overrated. Done, yeah. What has he done to deserve that? Yeah. But what's the all? consensus? Like the general consensus? Yes, but there's still a conversation. People are having the conversation. Like I don't even think there's even a conversation. Like even Ange was no, yeah, saying, at least. he was saying that the objective should be like just to get the club buzzing. You yeah. know what I mean? Not yeah. really like trophies. Like they shouldn't be like well, I mean, Spurs, it's trophies. never a focusing a trophy. Like, so, <laughs> so him himself, he's he's limiting his possibilities. Like, he's not he's not rating he's himself. He's it. Yeah, he's not rating himself as a manager like, oh, I'm going to go win mm -hmm. titles. I want to win titles for Tottenham. No, like every, Conte every coach has said that. I'm Mourinho sorry. said that. Didn't Millie say at the beginning, why would I write about this guy? I would barely even know this guy, but he's... Doesn't uh, mean I say he's, he's overrated. He's listing interviews of mm -hmm. the guy. But why would I say he's overrated? Like, I, I'm saying that I wouldn't have an opinion on him. Okay, Millie, because I, I have such a positive the logic's a bit flawed. That Norway, no. that Norway one kind of... Yeah, now it might be open to back to question The one. Norway one massaged me into the idea that you can be writing <laughs> literally anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's more... Why, why would I have anything to overrate him on? I'm, I got my vote. I'm going Millie. Yeah, it was I'm too, going... It was too... I'll follow you. Yeah. This is too much of a, a Millie question. But it's yeah. too out in left field. Why yeah. would anybody write about Angela? Yeah. I'm going Millie. Hands in the middle, boys. I'm just going to go Varvar on this one. He's just going to get for it. Yeah. Yeah, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm back in a corner, just vote Varvar. <laughs> okay. Three, three, two, one. Hello? Did the person forget? No. There we go. Yeah, he's severely overrated. They're finishing like eighth or ninth. You have no consistency, bro. That's Why? No wild. In the in the Premier League video, that was I like, never mentioned that you he was did. good. You eighth. did. Because oh, I no. mentioned he was bad. No, he's good. No, he, okay, he's good. But right now, when I saw those Arteta posts, severely oh, overrated. He's said, severely overrated. Yes, but you just said eighth or ninth. Yeah, like, they're finishing eighth or ninth. Spurs are still not a team ready to compete for even top six, in my opinion. So off camera, we discussed a little bit. We have two unpopular opinions left. And I mean, we did three each. So we know that the two last ones are one is mine and one is Millie's. So to be fair, we're going to be doing both of them at the same time. So well, let's get it. Millie, you, you get this? Oh, you gave me this one. Okay, I see what happened. <laughs> I don't know what's under each of them. So you also have to read it at the same time. Well, yeah, let's read both of them at the <laughs> same time, just all over each other. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead. Go, go, go ahead. I appreciate it. Brighton's hype is completely overblown. They're average at best. I got my vote. Average. I know who this is also, but yeah. Oh my. Neymar. Neymar is the second most talented player of our generation after Messi. The, I mean, yeah. I mean, boys, you could take a look here. So, actually, they don't need to see it. They, they see it up. They see it somewhere. They see it somewhere. I have my vote already. I have my vote too, but I'm surprised of, of the Neymar one because, you know, like... I, I think the Neymar one... Whatever, we'll just discuss it for two seconds. Yeah. Neymar is quite obviously the second most talented player of our generation after Messi. I agree with that. Off Ronaldo? Of just, Ronaldo? Off of pure Technical talent, ability. Neymar is better than... Okay, Neymar. then I can see that Usman Dembele is more talented than, no, than Ronaldo. No, because it, there's a difference between Usman Dembele and Neymar. There's levels between them. Ta talent is... If you're talking about pure, raw talent, Usman Dembele might be more talented than Ronaldo. No. 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 <laughs> Brother, what? <laughs> That's the worst shout I've ever heard. Okay, uh, let me think of somebody more talented than Dembele. Okay, what about the Brighton one, okay? So the Brighton hype is completely overblown. They're average at best. I agree with that. So you agree with both? 
That's crazy. No, <laughs> I agree with this one. I both of them are Palas. <laughs> Theoretically, if we vote Pala for both, we, we're gonna get one we at least. Still win for million. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you? <laughs> what do you have to say about Neymar? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and about what the Brighton, and about the Brighton one? I agree. Nice. You're he's not giving, as well. so he's not giving us much. So we're working with nothing, okay? So, hmm. I okay. think my, my gut feeling is Brighton is Millie and Neymar is Paolo. I would say the opposite. Yeah, because... No firms you're throwing right now. Neymar is the second most talented... Paolo, I, I remember him saying this. Would Paolo ever say that though? Yes, yes. I do believe, I do believe he would say that. You think Millie would say the, the Brighton one though? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. You're right. The Zerbi, come on. Yes, my guy. But does Zerbi is included in this hype or no? I think so. I mean, he's part of Brighton, is he not? Yeah, but the team is average at best. I do agree with that. They're an average Premier League team. Oh, I see. Okay. So Millie agrees with both of them. No, because I don't know if Millie believes that Neymar is the second most talented player of our generation. But I think I think you believe that. I think Pal, because Pal's thing about Neymar was that yes, incredibly talented. But he didn't. He always got injured, and he didn't want it enough. I'm st I'm sticking to my gut that Palace the Brighton and Millie's the Neymar. Cause name. Uh, Do we get a say? Do we get no, the vote? Millie has shown yeah. to be quite the the hipster. Hipster <laughs> FC. This episode. He yeah he did. That's true. So I don't know. No, I'm. I. You're sticking to I, yours. Honestly, I'll go with yours, but I no, know no, I'm should, right. No, no, we should at least do something. Rock about paper it. scissors. Let fate decide it. Yeah. Okay. Best. Wait, wait, best, wait, wait. We'll just best Millie, Millie, our fate is being held by rock, paper, rock scissors. paper scissors. One. One. Okay. It's yours. Pala, you're Neymar, and you're Brighton. Do me and Millie get to vote? So go. This is first for the Neymar. This is for Neymar. Yeah. I think it's firms. Yeah, I agree. I think it's firms too. I think it's for, uh, two votes for firms. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God me and firms weren't in this voting because that could be it's true. Uh, <laughs> this is like representative. Yeah. Of the, Okay, this is for Neymar. Three, two, one. I told you. I told good you. Shot, good shot. I crazy. told you. If it oh, wasn't for you meddling kids, <laughs> you're gone away with it. I know Millie seems like the, the Brighton hater type of guy, you know? In the end, Varvar and Firms come out with a tie. It was a battle of titans. As always, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that note of bell so you always know when we're posting. We come out with a new video every Sunday. We'll see you guys next one. Peace out.